Hello everyone, happy Christmas Eve. It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with some fake Grand Order. I bet you thought I was gonna stop playing. Nope. I don't know why Shep is here. She's just here. Anyway, we are here to grind up some good old Christmas node. Now, uh, as you can see here, there's a lot of black on the side, and that is because I play on Android, and I'm tired of, of having to constantly crop this damn thing out. So I'm just gonna keep it like that until Android finally gets what, um... Apple has, which is the little weird borderline things. I don't know. Maybe if I feel nicer towards fate, I'll crop it out or something. I'll figure it out. Anyway, let's get into this. Um, I hate this node. I hate it a whole bunch because it requires me to have faith in the unit I hate the most. I'm actually also going to switch to CE. Um, it requires me to have faith in uh, Ishtar here, which is like terrible because she's not trustworthy and we have this animosity towards each other that shows in this video. I bet she's not going to show it off just because I'm talking about it. She's going to try and act like she is not a pain in my ass. But let's go. Like nothing... I... Alright, let's go. Let's try it. As always, we are trying to three-turn it. I have three-turned it once before. That's why I know it works. Um, doesn't change the fact that these dudes just refuse to keep the three turn going. This is a nice song, by the way. Very Christmas themed. Dun, 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 dun. Bum, 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 bum. So I did try a little bit more ticket summons for um, Erish and for a 5 CE, and let me just tell you, man, I should just give up on that dream. Start saving up for Guda Guda 3, because that's the, my next, um, thing I'm going for. I mean, I'll do like a summon on Apocrypha, but that's about it. Just to get some grind CEs. <coughs> because I don't like Apocrypha very much. I completely forgot to do the Ishtar thing. Damn it! Uh, by the way, it is extremely powerful. Hate the turn delay so much. So much. It's so sucky when you're trying to grind to always constantly have to remember to use a stupid move. Uh... And this would have been a perfectly fine rotation to use it onto. Oh, I hate you so much, Ishtar. I bet you're saying, why do you hate her for your mistake? I'm gonna say it right now, because it's, it's her skin. But anyway, it's, she's a perfectly strong unit. She looks pre perfectly beautiful because she's based off of Rin. Um, and I like, I think I technically do like her overall. It's just that she's just a pain in the ass. She treats me bad. Horribly. To be fair, so do I. So you know what? You reap what you sow. There you go. The support Ishtar, by the way, is the Ishtar that I should have mine at, which is at level 10 skills. Alright, let's see. Yeah. I'm just doing it now so I don't do it later. And we'll go here. She has her thing up right now. And hopefully she takes this guy out, because, um... Get open. It's really sucky when she doesn't. Gate open. Counting on you. And she eats <laughs> Yeah, and if it's not um, Ishtar I'm using, then I have to use... Um, Arjuna, which Arjuna is a different can of worms for me. To be fair, Arjuna's consistent, I just want him to never show up for me again. And also, I finally got Quetzalcoatl, so maybe I should squash the beef with Arosh. Of Arosh. I love Arosh. With Arjuna. Damn them for having similar names. Alright, let me see. How am I doing here? Oh, it's perfect. Um... Damn it. And of course when it's perfect, I can't make any use of that damn, um, you know, and I'll equip the new dress, uh, mystic dress, next, uh, next rotation. Get open! Get open! Yes, yes. I'm counting on you. From heaven's to the earth. I can't pronounce that. It's actually kind of shitty that she expects me to. Can you kill? Come on, crit, dummy. Thank you. That's kind of where the inconsistency come in, is that I have to rely on one of these damn... Oh, you know what? 
You know what would be very good now that I think about it? It should be Anniversary Blonde. I'm gonna put in a bit more, but I think Anniversary Blonde is actually gonna have everything I need. I have no idea what you're talking about. Stop talking. Nobody cares about what you have to say. Thank you. And now we got some tasty, tasty sand. I was gonna call it juice, but it's not juice, it's sand. There we go. I'm also um, doing this because um, I, I only started yesterday. Now I'm getting a whole bunch of Cheshire, thank you. Um, it's a damn shame I can't find Gay for Edison because Gay for Edison has a fantastic... Um, no, I think he has a um, Ursh Goggle. This, see, that's why I don't say your full name, because I can't say it either. There we go. Anniversary Bond. It has a Buster Up, and it has a um, um, bunch of Crit Stars. There you go, that's what they're called. I was thinking they had a fancy-ass name. They don't. I hope everyone else has had a fantastic grind. Also, I hope you're having a fantastic Christmas Eve. If you're watching this um, on Christmas Eve then you have good taste. That's all I have to say to you, fine sir. And or lady, I have a 4% lady viewership now. Shout out to all four of you ladies out there. There used to be only one, now there's four. All right, let's go in here. This time I'll remember, because last time the fuck up was on me. The onus is no longer on me, no. Me, no. Me, though. All right. Champagne. Stella. I love that they could have translated this. It's the dumbest translation. I mean, it's accurate. It's arguably the most accurate NA has ever been with trans translations. Say what you will about how you feel about their translation job. I think they do a pretty good job, and one, a very unfortunate job. Two, a very unfortunate job, to be fair. Just it just, just so happened that both jobs ruined the same character, so. No, I'm not, I don't know what I'm talking about. I can go into it, I don't want to. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I'm always- I should be more hesitant because somewhere out there, there's someone out there who loves Ishtar so much. And I don't want to make anyone feel bad about loving the characters they do, even if I don't like them or something. So, you know, it is what it is. should be more accepting of people's faults, which is their fault is liking this character I don't like. But also the character itself, because I don't like them. For the most part, I really, um... Don't like is such a harsh word. I, it's not that I don't like them, it's that they get on my nerves. But just because they get on my nerves doesn't mean I don't like them. I still like them. Which is dumb, but whatever. It's my own dumb feelings that I have to wrap my head around. Bomb, please kill. Thank you! Oh my god. Ishtar, when you're working, you are a beautiful machine. Alright. Now, please, for the love of God, second Ishtar, get a damn Buster card. Do it. Do it. Oh, I hate you so much. No, you do. You got one. Alright, never mind. I don't hate you. I'm mildly annoyed at you, but not anymore, because I think this will actually be the perfect rotation. Assuming that I got 100% crit weight. Yeah, I did. Okay. Let's do it. That should be enough to kill both. Night from the Deaths. Yeah, because my main problem has been that sometimes the crits go everywhere. Because the crit weight of both Ishtars are the same. So they both get it at the same time. And the only t and the times I keep trying to... Uh, I never have like the perfect rotation of cards for some reason, it's super annoying. But I think she wins here. Yeah, she wins. There's no way she loses. That's right. There you go. Good girl. You did fantastic. Lovely. It's a Christmas Eve miracle, everybody. Uh, Alright. Oh my god, and she's level 4. Oh my god. What could this mean for Bleach? Ishtar's coming to Bleach. I think I'll do one more. Yeah. I wonder, I'm curious how everyone else... Because not everyone... I feel like sometimes... Um... I got lucky that I have Waver. 
and obviously when I have Waver, I don't have Merlin, so I can't do Merlin cheese, so I have to rely on my, um, uh, either a friend Merlin or just the fact that Waver is so strong. It's actually been not very, it's been very much easier with the, um, with units that have like 50% MP chargers, so Tesla and Ishtar are fantastic for that. Ishtar is better than Tesla, I want to say. Yeah, I want to say that. I think that's fair to say, just because of her insane 50% attack um, skill at level 10. <coughs> uh, I choked. <coughs> I praised Ishtar and I started choking. Alright. Let's get into it. What are these things supposed to be? I know they're from Babylon, but they're like weird hook nose monsters. They look like Digimon that escaped. Alright, let's see. Here's the other thing that I'm almost 100% positive, which is why I'm having such trouble with the strat I'm using, is this thing right here. Um, it changes the card order, so it's in essence like as if none of the previous cards were activated. Um, at least that's what I understand it to be. So it should be that I should not I should have a decent amount of chance of getting the new Ishtar along with the old one, even though Arash used three of his, which were from the deck previously. See, there you go. This is terrible. This is the things I'm talking about. It's when this shit happens. And now I've wasted this stupid skill. Ugh. Oh, she makes it so- she makes life so difficult for no reason. So stupid difficult for no reason. And I can't trust her to actually kill- be able to kill him in one go. And if I miss this up, then she can't. I'm gonna go for it. This is literally worst case scenario, and this happens to me all the time. Because again, when you rely on Ishtar, if you're you're relying that she fucking kills him, if she doesn't fucking kill, then this is a problem. And a lot of it does come from the fact that my Ishtar skills are from level five. But I should have some form of good luck, right? I shouldn't be just completely fucked every other turn. That's fine. Uh, okay. I'm hoping she does so much damage that it won't even matter. Get open! Get open! I'm counting on you. Kill in one hit. She's not going to She just needs a little bit more strength. You can crit! Oh my god, I take back everything! Turns out Ishtar, my, my friend Ishtar is one of the best. Oh my god, she came in clutch with that. I take back everything I said. You're fantastic. No more complaints. Yeah, because again, if she can crit because of this skill right here, I'm getting double crit. Also, this is literally the best one to crit critted because she also has um, Waver's crit booster. Um, so that's why I'm able to do like a lot of events and not need Merlin, is because Merlin's a lot of overkill. I just need enough kill. Oh, 70%. Oh, of course my Ishtar is the one that takes 100% of it. Are you kidding me? I swear to god. Okay, it's all up to you, friend Ishtar. You need to crit on the last buster card. That's it. Lay mana. Get the whole pan. You should be honored. Behold my full strength. Okay, now. Did I remember that? Yeah, actually. Nice. This one. There you go. Brandish card for the win. Uh, battle finish. <sighs> and I think I've got like two days left. It says one day, but I know that until the 24 hours show up, that's how much time I actually legitimately have. Um, if Because that's the way they do it here, so... I got time. I think I got time. Let me see how I get. I think I'm... Oh no, I'm not close, I think. Let me check here. How many I got. The problem is also is that this CE... Um, Use craft essence. Where is it? There it is. Sheepy. Mary Sheep is not one that gives you NP, 
So that's why you have to use an Ishtar friend with uh, one that has double of it on it. Um, because it makes just like farming super hard if you don't have starting NP. Like how can you three, three turn something at zero NP? You have to have the craziest um, build up in the world. You have to either have double waiver and a bunch of like just crazy shit to get it done, I feel. I feel. Which is, you know, some characters have like 20%, some have 10%, some have 30%. Ishtar got very lucky and got um, 50% at level 10. So that's fantastic for this. And can I get. I didn't get a mustache. Why? Hmm. That's fine. Well, I hope everyone else's grinding is going perfectly well. That's it for today's video, though. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you for the next video. I think this video is coming up before the Bounty Rush video, because Jesus Christ, that Bounty Rush video, it goes weird places. You it's a glitchy mess. All right, see you later, everyone. Have a Merry Christmas, and if you don't celebrate Christmas, have a good day. Because, hey, you matter today, too. Don't forget that. Goodbye, everyone.